Now's top 10 moments, selected and presented by Marguerite. Mao Zedong organized peasant protests in Shanghai in the year 1924, then angered the military government and fled to Canton. He did this to show his belief in communism. He joined the time Chinese Communist Party because he believed socialism was the answer to China's problems. Mao left home at age 13 in order to attend advanced school. There he realized his passion, passion for teaching. He later became a school principal. While he was a principal, he organized students, merchants, and workers to face Japan's takeover of Germany's concessions in Shidang province. He also helped create the Communist Party. When the Communists formed an alliance with the Nationalists, he left his job to become a revolutionary. Mao Zedong made a massive social, economic, and political uprising. This was part of his Cultural Revolution campaign. Cultural Revolution was aimed at energizing the revolutionary spirit. The Cultural Revolution lasted from 1966 to 1976. Mao sent Red Guards on witch hunts. Many Chinese people suffered, especially teachers, writers, artists, and party leaders. The people were mainly killed because they were reactionary, and Mao was determined to make a revolution. This is the reason why so many people died during the Cultural Revolution. During the Cultural Revolution, Mao was cruel and killed many Chinese people in an attempt to modernize China. He had many followers who did believe in him, but many who didn't. Mao Zedong passed away near 1976, the same year that the Cultural Revolution ended. The Cultural Revolution ended because of his death. Mao was 83. Mao Zedong was determined to modernize China. He did this by destroying the four olds. Old customs, old cultures, old habits, and old ideas. He destroyed anything old, such as signs and old photos. He also got rid of old beliefs. The ruling of Mao Zedong lasted more than 40 years. He was the chairman until his death on September 9, 1976. His ruling is still looked back on today and has become a big and important part of China's history. Mao Zedong was born in Shoshan to a peasant father who later became a wealthy farmer. His father wanted him to be a farmer, but he believed he should have a proper education. He followed this dream of an education and this brought him to where he is. The communists fled from Jiangxi province away from the nationalists and then defeated the nationalists 22 years later. This is known as the Long March. The Long March was a 6,000 mile retreat with about 10% of the people actually surviving. Mao Zedong was the one who led them to this victory. The Great Leap Forward was meant to increase agricultural production. All decisions were made purely political. Peasants were first to work in huge farms, also known as communes. Mao Zedong lost influence after the failure of this. This lost him power, yet he came back with the Cultural Revolution. The Great Leap Forward was abandoned after two years and was a five-year economic plan.